Hi there, this is Andy Seeland at Combat Fusion Martial Arts. Thanks for joining me today. This videotape is going to discuss the creation of the higher level short forms, predominantly short form 4, 5 and 6. I will be using short form 5 as the target form to discuss the methodology, but of course this methodology can be used to create the uh, short form versions of uh, short form 7 and 8 as well. So, that being said, I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. So let's just get a few things uh, sorted out before we get deep into the uh, methodology used to create a short form. As we came up through the ranks, we are all taught short forms one, two and three. Short form three being the last of the short forms, which is actually the only taught combat effective form we have. When we asked Master Parker about higher forms and their short versions, his uh, answer to us was it's left to the student to figure out how those forms should be constructed. He gave us a formula for doing that. And the formula worked in its easiest form as strong to weak. Now what this means is that most of us in the Western world are right-handed. So we in Campo look on the right side as the strong side. Therefore, the weak side would be the left side. Now this isn't to mean to say that people who are left-handed are weaker than people who are right-handed, it's just a way of determining left from right, and rather than saying left or right, we say strong and weak. So the basic methodology for constructing a short form from a higher form is to use the formula of strong to weak. This means your first technique in the short form would be done on your strong side. The subsequent technique would be done off the weak side and then it would transfer back to the strong side again, and then to the weak side, all the way through the form, alternating from strong to weak. Now then, this doesn't mean to say that's the only way you can create the short form. The short forms can also be created by starting on the weak side and going to the strong side. Then again, you could also construct a short form by using strong side only or weak side only. And then you can vary it as much as you like. You could start with the weak side and follow with all strong sides, or start with the strong sides and follow with all weak sides. It is up to you how you construct the forms, really. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is to start strong side, weak side, so you get the basic idea of how the short forms should be constructed. At certain points during this video, you will notice graphics appear. These graphics show the position of the clock principle in relation to my position when performing the form. At other points during the video, you will see these graphics reverse. This is at a point when I am showing you the open side of a technique from a different perspective. This is to enable you to see the more intricate movements performed when my back is turned. So, that being said, let's get on to the video and get some work done. Okay, so here we go. Now we're following the pattern of long form five. Nothing's changing in that at all. We're just doing one side then the other. Okay, so we start with 12 o'clock in front of us, six behind, and then we'll have three and nine appear respectively to either side of me. This will change, as I said, throughout the form when my perspective changes. So our first technique is destructive fans on the strong side. We're now going to go into Dance of Death. Now this is the first of the techniques where you'll get a reverse perspective. Uh, note the height of the legs as you cross over in this form. You've got to remember you're actually crossing a body which is about six inches thick, so you have to lift your feet up. Okay, so to get to the weak side, you see the clock reverse. I step forward with my right foot towards nine and then back with my left foot towards 12 to block with my right hand. This puts me on the weak side to do Dance of Death. Now as I come over, you'll see the height of my legs crossing the body. And remember, this is walkthrough pace. There's no power or speed. This is for instructional purposes. Okay, now we're back onto the original side and we're going to carry on with the leap of death. Now when you do the leap here and you pull the head up into the knees, try not to have your knees concave too much. You just need to jam the person's shoulders to create the break on the neck. Next, we're going to go into a backbreaker, which is on the weak side this time. Exactly the same um, as you would do in the technique, no difference there in the form. Now we go to Hopping Crane. Hopping Crane is done on the strong side and immediately turning to the sleeper, which is another technique we'll reverse, but this is done on the weak side. 
So now there's the reverse perspective. In this case, you're stepping forward to six o'clock, blocking with the right and striking with the left. There's a rear claw, back fist and heel palm. Now we get back to the original side and we're now going on to brushing the storm, which is the strong side. As we kick from here, we immediately step back and turn into falling falcon. This is the weak side technique and it's another one we'll reverse in a second. So this is the reverse perspective. From the kick, we step straight back into reverse crossover and pivot out. Then step through with the elbow, take down, check the arm, the blade kick to the neck, and then this sweep is just to indicate what you do in the technique. It's not actually needed in the form. Now we're into circling the horizon. This is a strong side, drop down, and as we strike with the kick, note the pullback, just counterbalance move. This is also performed in the next technique leaping crane on the chicken kick. Notice the pullback counterbalance with the arms when they kick. We finish up with a salutation in exactly the same way as we would in the long five uh, form and then close out as we do normally. And there we go. That is how we create a short form from the higher level long forms. So oh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. And if you really feel like you enjoy watching Combat Fusion videos, give us a subscribe as well. I'll speak to you again soon. This has been Andy Seaton at Combat Fusion Martial Arts, and I thank you very much for watching.